Hello, 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 and welcome to today's episode of Her Version. This podcast is dedicated to sharing stories of struggle to triumph, a platform that allows individuals to tell their truth in order to inspire and uplift others. For those of you that are new to this podcast and like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow, like, and share. I am your host, Sabrina Victoria. Let's jump right in. Thank you for joining us today for this episode of Her Version. The Her Version podcast is built on storytelling and the understanding that many times our greatest learning experiences come from listening to other people's stories. Today, I'm speaking with an amazing woman named Nelia. Is that how I pronounce that? Yes, Nelia is perfect. Yes. All right. (laughs) Nelia lost her father in 2005 and at that moment made a promise to herself to live differently. Her intentions were pure as she dove headfirst into taking care of everything and everyone else while putting her needs dead last. Over the course of 12 years, Nelia ended up suffering with anxiety, depression, PTSD, loneliness, and overwhelm. She has come a long way since then and now leads a very different life. She is a 40-something Canadian girl, wife, mother, daughter, friend, and dreamer with grandiose ideas. She is the host of the Top 20 podcast called Giving Starts With You, the creator of the Ukulele Project, and the author of Giving My Heart Room to Breathe, A Journey Through Grief, Healing, and Giving. Nelia now dedicates her life to helping others successfully execute their own unique passion projects because she believes that the number one way to heal ourselves is through helping others. So glad to have you here, girl. What would be your advice to a woman who's having trouble connecting with her authentic self? I think you have to look at why. Um, Because sometimes it could be from something that happened to us, you know, or it could be um, something we believe about ourselves that isn't true because somebody else told us. Um, So I think we have to, if we can figure out why or where it's coming from, then I think we have a chance. But if we don't want to look at the pain, you know, and and really think about it, if you want to ignore it, it, it's not going, you know, you're not going to get any better at it. Right. But if you can find, even maybe find one person that you trust, you know, if you have that person um, and if you don't, that's okay too. Um, But if you have somebody you can trust and and really be honest with, and a lot of times that's you, like a lot of times it's yourself. Yeah. You're just kind of like, I don't know. We don't put in the time. Like we don't have the time, you know, or we don't like all the things we were talking about, but I think, um, know that it's not your fault. You know, we don't grow, we don't, we're not born into who we want to be. We're born into a family or a community of people who have their own beliefs already and just kind of pass it down to us. Right. It's not till we're old enough that we're like, yeah, I don't agree with that. Or I agree with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think just because if you don't like certain things about yourself, maybe those aren't things that you really believe you should be feeling or believing in, right? It's just things that people taught you that you needed to believe what they believe. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, it totally makes sense. You know? Definitely. I wish wish we knew exactly who we wanted to be and then we're born and that's who we are. But then we would be like, oh, my God, who are these people around me that are my family? They're so different than I am. Yes. So it has you to know? evolve. Yeah. I yeah. agree. I think yeah. you have to. And I think you have to know what you don't like to change it. Yeah. You know, it's not enough to just say, oh, I don't like this about myself. It's like, why? Why don't you like it? Yeah. It's like if I said, if I said to you, what do you like to do? And you said singing. And I said, but why? Like, why do you like to sing? Because it doesn't, you could pick anything. You could pick writing, singing, dancing, whatever it is. But it's not the actual thing. It's what, why do you enjoy it? So for me, like, I like singing because it lets me, lets my feelings out, right? It makes me feel empowered. I don't care how bad I sound because it makes me feel 
good and happy and free and all these things. And then what else makes me feel that same feeling, you know, and then attract yourself to those, those things. Right. Cause a lot of people, if you say, well, yeah, I like, you know, I like having steak, but why? I don't know. I just like it. Well, you got to think about why, what is it about it that you like? Cause that's when it starts opening up all these other new conversations. Right. Yeah. And figuring out whether or not you actually like it or you were told that you like it. Yes. And then that, and then once you know why, you can duplicate that with other things. Oh, yes. Okay. You know? Yeah. It's totally like, so for me, like for the example of singing, okay, it makes me feel free. Like nobody, you know, but what else makes me feel like that? Yeah. You know, and that will help you figure out what it is you really like. Absolutely. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Well, this fun. has been fantastic. So oh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, you know, with you and everybody yes. else. This is fantastic. I want to give a shout out to those that are watching live. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with the Her Version podcast with Nelia and listening to her journey. I so appreciate you. Do you have any closing thoughts before we kind of wrap things up? You know, I just, I don't know. If you're listening today and some of the stuff that I said, you know, about my journey and how, I felt at the time um, resonates with you, then I just want you to know that you're not the only one feeling that. And it doesn't mean that you're going to feel better immediately, but knowing that you have somebody else or a community of people, put yourself in the community of people like, like we are right now, like with the her version, right? So, Put yourself in a community of people that understand you, that get you, because then you don't feel so closed and so caged up. You can really start to live, even if you're just, I don't know, you don't always have to talk about serious stuff, but but when you do, it's okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just find people that, I don't know, that are either like one step ahead of you or that are going through stuff with you. Yeah. And it's okay to be real with them too. It's okay to be like, okay. You know, we have, we've talked for a couple hours now and it's been kind of negative. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> you know, but we kind of need to let that out. But now what are we going to do about it? Like, let's just not stay there all the time. You know, what can we do now and help lift them up too? It's not enough, I think, to just hear the sadness and hear the depression. It's like, okay, what are we going to do? And I'm not saying offer advice, but ask them, okay, yeah. what are we going to do about this? You know? Yeah, definitely. I think that's important. I agree. Listen. I agree with you on that. Um, also, as far as asking, because some people don't want, mm. some people want to stay in that depressed state and they're not ready. Like and I was, I wasn't kind of, ready. I've had it before where, I mean, just even with clients sometimes where I'm doing the discovery call and I realized that they just kind of wanted to call and bitch mm. a little, they're not really ready to, really come out of the situation yeah. so you have to ask like you know do you want a solution like can we talk about a solution and you can tell that they're not mm, they're not ready yeah. and they might become ready and you can approach you again yeah but that's one of the things I ask you know if people want to if people come to me and say okay uh, I have no idea what I want to do but I love this idea of you know doing more for other people like yeah. help me out here you know and I'm like well why that's one of the things that why, why do you want to give to people? What do you, what do you want to get out of it? Like, I because it. I think you get almost more than what you give most of the time, you, see that? you know, and if you're, if you're wanting to do it for likes and subscriptions and whatever, and to post it on, you know, that's not for me. Like, that's just not the reason why I know you're giving, but that's just not the reason why I'm in it. So maybe it's not the right fit or, yeah. you know, but if you're doing it because, Hey, you know, you've lost your husband a few years ago and you guys had all these plans and now you don't know what to do with the rest of your life. You're alone. You want some adventure. You want to help other people because it makes you feel good because you think it's going to help you. Then, yeah, that's, you know, let's do it. And it will do all those things. Yeah. You know, so you have to ask those questions because sometimes people aren't, you know, aren't ready. Yeah. What's yeah, on your uh, your website, by the way, people who are looking to connect with you, can they find you? Is there an email, social media? Yeah. Yeah. So, you, yeah. so, yeah. So that's the best place to get me. Uh, my email is hello at NeliaHutt.com. 
Mm -hmm. uh, my business is actually called Travel Live Give. I'm still working on that website, but you can uh, see all the things that I'm doing at NellyaHut.com. The story in full of my son with the homeless drive is there under projects. Yeah. Um, we also have some other things on the go and that's under project. There's a two minute video I'm very proud of that my son put together when we got back that it gives you a little bit of an idea about the ukulele project. You get to see the kids and how much fun we had. I so I would love for people to check that out. Yeah. And if you think you're a good, um, you know, if you think you're a... Um, a guest or somebody who would like to be a guest on my show. I mean, you can always reach out to Sabrina yeah. or, you know, we, we uh, connect and collaborate sometimes. So yes. it's great. And yes. yeah, just check it out. And if you're interested in talking to me, I love answering. It's just me at the end of the, at the end of the email, it's just a one, one person show. So I love to just meet new people and connect and see how I can help them. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, this has been fantastic. I so appreciate you hanging out and sharing some of your nuggets of inspiration with us. This has been great. Um, again, those of you that are watching live, we appreciate you. Those that are watching on the replay and you've made it this far, uh, make sure you hashtag replay so that we know that you were here and uh, what platform you were on so we can shoot you some love. But, Thank you, Sabrina, yeah. so much. Oh, I forgot to mention just one thing. Sure. So if you guys are um having a little bit of difficulty starting you know starting the self-care thing um it only takes 15 minutes a day to make of a habit to make a difference so try something new for 15 minutes a day over like a week over two weeks and you'll actually fall in love with the idea you'll be like oh 15 minutes isn't enough i'm going to take a half an hour i'm going to you know if you do something consistently like that so i did create um i don't you probably can't see it in the background but a coloring book for that very reason for people who are too busy for self-care so it's on amazon you can see it on the website oh as well. i love that yeah it's it's called i deserve the ultimate do you have I deserve it behind you break. can you show us i do yeah. yeah show us i gotta unplug hold on that's fine that's fine So this is the book. Oops. Oh, I love it. I deserve a break. Ah. And talks about why. And inside, um, there's just like a little short um, blurb on why I created each page and what it means to me. Yes. And then here's some, uh, I'll just show you maybe one page, but there's one. Oops. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, and there's one for the ukulele project, which I'm really, um, which I'm really happy about. Oops. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. And so, and all the money that I, um, all the proceeds go to the next ukulele project. So they go to yeah. buying ukuleles for the children. So I just want you guys um, to check out the video. But yeah, um, and you don't have to buy the coloring book. I'm just mentioning it because of the 15 minutes. It's it only takes 15 minutes a day to create that habit, right? So try it. And yeah, you deserve that time. My 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 fiance is listening in the background. He oh. he said <laughs> he has a ukulele and he just set it on the desk next oh, to Oh, let's see, let's see. Hey love, do you want me to show her your ukulele, love? Does he want to come to the ukulele? It's open to everybody. Come for the next ukulele project. Are you still listening to us, love? Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. I'll send you a sticker. I've got a sticker to place on the back of the ukulele. That's awesome. He's smiling music, so big right now. Music gives so much hope, you know, and yeah. It's like one place where people can really heal, I feel. That's my, that's my place. But, yeah. but thank you so much, Sabrina. I've taken up yes. so much of your time today. Yeah, so this is fantastic. <laughs> I appreciate you. But we're going to go ahead and close out. I want to thank um, everyone so much and Nelia for hanging out. Um, this is the Her Version podcast and this community is expanding every single day. And it's filled with females that are striving to do better than they did yesterday. For those of you that are new to this podcast and like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow, like, and share. If you have an amazing story to share of Struggle to Triumph, make sure you reach out to me here or at herversion.life. I am your host, Sabrina Victoria, and I'm so grateful to be here sharing a platform that allows people to share their truth and inspire others. As always, do something awesome today.